going on guys? Check it out. We're going to Heroes Con now. We're just meeting up right now at the building and then we're going to head out to there. Uh, so we'll keep you guys covered as we go throughout the day. Uh, this is Russell here. Say what's up, Russ. Alright guys, we'll see you there. Do you know what that means? I'm still trying to figure it out. All right. We just uh, we just finished up with the con. We're gonna head back and check out our, our royalties, and uh, we'll finish up the coverage tomorrow. You guys have fun? Good job, buddy. All right. It's time to go home. I don't know which way that is. Hey guys, it's Russell and Dustin from the shortbox.org and we're here to talk to you about our Heroes Con experience this past weekend. It was a blast. Uh, it was my 13th or 14th um, trip to the Heroes Con. Dustin's first, we got a lot of good footage of his reaction to just walking in and some other things that went on. Um, it was a great time. We're going to talk about some of the finds that we had, um, and we're gonna, Dustin's going to start us off with that. Uh, what'd you pick up? What, what are you most proud of? Uh, 
So, one of the biggest ones that I wanted, I don't know, for some reason I, I just got a thing for Ant-Man right now. I actually got the uh, Marvel Premiere Ant-Man uh, number 47. Uh, it's actually the first appearance of Scott Lang as Ant-Man. Uh, I'm actually not really a high high bidder on, on actual comics, so I always try to be frugal when I'm collecting. Uh, I actually found this one for $30 at a uh, comic book stand. The, the only issue was that there was a little bit of inking on there, but I can live with that. Everything overall, the corners, the, the shape of everything, it's pretty good quality for me, so I definitely will enjoy this one. I actually got it for a pretty good deal. Uh, I picked it up for about 25 bucks. So uh, compared to what it's going for right now, uh, compared to 100 bucks, I'd say it's definitely a good find. I also got the uh, issue 48, the follow-up of the Ant-Man Marvel premiere. Uh, that's also pretty much the same one that uh, everybody's getting with the uh, 47, just because it's it's kind of a complete set. It's, you, get, you get one or the other. Um, I actually got this one for about 10 bucks at one of the stands over there. One of the guys was really nice. Uh, he knew that I was looking for this. He had a few copies available, so he definitely hooked me up with this one. Um, like I said, I'm a frugal shopper, so I definitely got some good deals out here. Uh, the next one, uh, it wasn't exactly a great find, but I always liked uh, the Luke Cage uh, Power Man series. This is actually issue 17 of Luke Cage, uh, Hero for Hire, but this was the first issue that he actually became Power Man. I got this for about two bucks at that stand, which was a pretty sweet deal, considering the amount that he goes for on the market right now. Um, so, my buddy Russell here, pointed this out for me. Uh, this is Batman and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't really negotiate on this one just because when I first saw it, my eyes lit up and I didn't know what else to do other than buy it. I asked the guy originally if I could do 15. He said, no, do you know how much thing is going for? I said, yes, I know. <laughs> uh, so I paid full sticker price of $20. Uh, the best thing about it though is that uh, Freddie Williams was actually here at the uh, con, so I was able to get a signature for him from him. Uh, it was it actually got a, a print to go with it, which was pretty sweet. Put that in my office and uh, continue on collecting from there. Uh, one of my other finds that it's kind of an oddity, but it was pretty cool for me just because uh, it's Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is going to be a really popular uh, character and comic coming out this year, especially with the movie coming out. But this is actually uh, Marvel premiere number three, where uh, uh, Stan Lee and um, Barry Smith worked on this issue uh, originally just to come out and, produce, and uh, kind of blow up Doctor Strange when he first came out. Uh, one of the last issues that I got that was pretty big for me was just the uh, official uh, first appearance of Scott Lang. Uh, this one is, is a big issue, it's Avengers 181. It's not the Scott Lang, it's Ant-Man, which is another reason why I picked up the Marvel premiere uh, 47 and 48, but this is the actual 181 uh, first appearance of Scott Lang. Uh, Scott Lang is one of the, the ones in the Avengers that you'll see other than um, uh, what is it, Pym, that uh, that uh, wears the Ant-Man suit. And he's a newer one, he's the one that Rob plays, and uh, definitely one of my favorite characters this year, especially with the Giant Man that just came out in Civil War. The other big ones that I picked up that I was really, really looking forward to getting was actually the Marvel Spotlight Star-Lord. This is uh, issue number six. Um, so I, I actually originally wanted the Marvel preview number four, but that one right now, it's, it's, it's basically just a magazine, but it's actually the first appearance of Star-Lord. Um, in, in, uh, in the actual universe of Marvel. Uh, it's actually on a magazine, so it doesn't really count as a comic. So one of the big reasons I got this is this is actually the first appearance within a comic of Star-Lord. They later came out with Star-Lord number one, which is actually going more, more than this one right now, but um, I just wanted the first appearance of Star-Lord at an affordable price, and be, being that I'm so frugal with my shopping, I figured, hey, why not get this one at a great deal. I actually picked this one up for a, a really, really good deal of uh, 10 bucks at one of the guys that I actually picked up the uh, Ant-Man 48 at. He, he actually hooked me up with this after I came up back for a second time. So, yeah, this is definitely one of the ones you want to get, uh, especially with the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie coming out. Uh, it could go up in price, there's no telling. Well, I wasn't out looking for comics. Um, my kids were with me most of the time, and I have a hard time digging when they're there. It's just, it's just a, a no-brainer to keep walking. So I looked for Pops on Friday, and this is the one that I'm most proud of. It's the um, U.S. Agent Pop from Kamikaze. Got a great deal on it. Um, I bought this one, and I saw that they also had the Black Widow with the shield from Civil War, and the guy made me a deal, 30 for both. Um, I was really happy about these. They're, they're great looking Pops. Um, and they, they added to my collection. This was a big one that I was hunting for. Um, some other pops that I picked up. I got the new She-Hulk and Captain Marvel. Um, these, are these have just come out. 
good price on both. I think they were ten dollars each. Um, as you can see, the uh, this series has a lot of good um, characters in it. Falcon, Doctor Strange, Spider Gwen. Um, I think Doc. Yep, Doc Ock is on there. Um, so I'm really excited about this particular series. They aren't exclusives, but they're freaking cool. So there's that. And another one I was really excited about was the Civil War 4-pack. Um, as you can see, it's got Spidey with a shield, and that is awesome to me. I also like the, uh, the Hawkeye. You don't see the Hawkeye with his uh, cowl on anymore, and I haven't seen one for Pop. Maybe you have. If you know of one, let me know. That would be great. Uh, but this is a good one, and it's got the mini uh, keychains for Captain America and Iron Man. So. I was really happy to find it. Got it for 25 bucks. It usually goes about 30 um, from GameStop and other places. Um, so if you if you're looking for this one, online's the best place to find it. But I have seen them in GameStop. Some other items I picked up. Um, I was really happy with this. It's the uh, it's a BB-8 sketch cover from Sean Durlington. And we're going to have information on some of these uh, lesser known artists. Um, on where you can find their stuff. Um, this this guy's a good friend of ours, um, and he's a great he's a great find. Uh, I just I really enjoyed this cover. Big Captain America fan, so I was really happy with that. Um, on to some comics that I picked up. I did pick up one comic, and it was for my son. And this is another friend of ours. Um, this is by Lyle Pollard. It's a sketch cover. Um, we got the, the, the Iron Fist um, blank variant for uh, my son, and we know Lyle, so he um, he sketched out Iron Fist with the dragon on it. This is probably the most awesome thing we found, um, and you can you can find Lyle online as well. Um, again, I will get more information on his website. He is on eBay, and I'll get that information if anybody's interested. Um, Another big deal for me, Jim Steranko. I got him to sign my Civil War II variant. Um, he signed some other stuff, and I'm going to show you uh, one of the prints that I purchased from him um, here in a second. But he was just a fun, fun guy. He's one of those old timers that is, he's, he's very macho, loves jazz. He told us a 15 minute story about how a jazz album was. Uh, was um, created while we were <laughs> while we were standing in line. He's like, you guys want to hear a story? Of course we want to hear a story from you. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you. So there's that. Um, now we'll move on to some prints that I got. I um, hope you can see them really well. Uh, this was a Wonder Woman print that we picked up from a Brian Vonder. And again, I will try to find the information. We'll put it on our site. This guy's awesome. I haven't heard of him before, but look at this. It's great. Um, he also hooked my sons up, both of them. Uh, he got a, One of them got a Spider-Man, the other one got a Colossus, which both of these are, are Marvel comic quality. Marvel, pick this guy up. Um, there's some other things I'd like to show you. Ah, uh, oh, the Starenko print. This was from one of the cons he did, um, and as you can see, it's it's like the uh, Captain America's uh, Steve Rogers cover. So he, he made it out to my son and I, which I thought was awesome. Again, super cool guy, fun to listen to. I got a little tongue tied when I was talking to him. I nerd out for for comic artists. <laughs> um, another big person that we really enjoyed meeting. Uh, was Riddle and I got a couple I got three really good prints that she had done the uh, Mary Marvel other Mary Marvel I mean look how great these are and her version of Squirrel Girl which is pretty freaking cool if you ask me all right uh, so this one was by a print by Vincent he, he works at the Faith and Fandom booth um, and I'll tell you a little more about Faith and Fandom in a second. But um, I got this for six bucks. Um, it's got Proverbs 27.6 on it and it's uh, 
the scene from Civil War where Captain America is fighting Iron Man. But anyway, it was a great, great piece and great find from those guys. Um, Faith and Phantom is a book series about um, bringing geek culture into line with with your faith in the Lord. Um, it's done by Hector Moray, and he is he's a he's a good guy, um, real good friend of my wife and I, and um, they're just they're just great people. If you get a chance, look them up on Facebook um, and, and and give it a read. You know, see what you think. Well, guys, that's it for today. Uh, keep watching. We're going to be giving away a free prize here in the next coming weeks. So please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment on our Twitter, YouTube, and our Instagram page. So thanks for watching. Take care. Shortbox.org. Peace.